Aaron Perrine is the director for press communications for Donald Trump's re-election campaign, and in an interview with Fox News, she tried to make the case for Donald Trump as to why he should be re-elected, and part of a reason why she thinks he's more qualified than Joe Biden is because he had COVID-19, or I should correct myself, he has COVID-19 currently. And because he's had this experience, that's a good thing. It makes him more capable of dealing with this pandemic than Joe Biden. Now, what she does is basically suggest that Joe Biden is not qualified to be president because he has not had COVID-19. I wish I were making this up because this is politics that you would see in like some sort of satirical film, but nonetheless, this is real life. This is a real argument that a supposed serious person made on national television. So is that something we should expect with a best case scenario? The president leaves the hospital today, gets back out on the campaign trail. Will we see changed messaging when it comes to the coronavirus and will it move more to a forefront of the president's messaging and uh, key issues? Well, firsthand experience is always going to change how someone relates to something that's been happening. The president has coronavirus right now. He is battling it head on as toughly as only President Trump can. And listen, that of course, that's going to change the way that he the way that uh, he he speaks of it because it'll be a firsthand experience. But, you know, that experience, that experience of not only coronavirus, but being president of the United States, that's why you just see a different tone overall from him. But it's been yeah, law I mean, and he order. He has the it's firsthand the experience of being. Sorry, I'm running well, yeah, out of but time. He still but it's been the, law and order yeah. and it's been the economy. Does this become a key issue and for your campaign? And he's talked about coronavirus as well. He's talked about it all. And listen, he has experience as commander in chief. He has experience as a businessman. He has experience now uh, fighting the coronavirus as an individual. Those firsthand experiences, Joe Biden, he doesn't have those. Wait a second. So she's literally saying that because Joe Biden hasn't had COVID-19, because he hasn't been infected with the virus, he is less qualified than Donald Trump, who has been infected with the virus. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Why would that make Joe Biden less qualified than Donald Trump? Why do you have to experience the virus to know how to legislate properly with regard to containing the virus? That doesn't make any sense at all. And um, apparently the American people aren't with her because 72% of Americans believe Donald Trump contracted COVID-19 because he wasn't taking it seriously. So it doesn't seem as if that's going to change anytime soon because as he's being released from the hospital, guess what's happening? He's still downplaying the severity of COVID-19, if you could believe that. Tweeting out, I haven't felt this good in uh, 20 years, or this is the best I've felt in 20 years, something to that effect, saying, don't let COVID-19 affect your life. Basically downplaying it. So if anything, you think that maybe you can make the case that going forward, he's going to be a better leader, at least with regard to the pandemic, because he's experienced how horrible it is firsthand. But no, so you can't even make that case now. He's still horrible. He's still the worst. And the fact that Joe Biden hasn't had COVID-19 doesn't make him less, uh, less suited to deal with it. The fact that she made this argument with a straight face is baffling to me. It's not like Joe Biden isn't immune from the virus. He still travels. He's around a lot of people. He could still catch it, but he wears a mask all of the time. The people around him actually take it seriously. And Trump makes fun of him for wearing a mask. So even though it is still likely that Joe Biden could catch it, given how much he travels around the country, I mean, the fact that he hasn't gotten it as someone who is exposed that much potentially, it should show you that at least he knows a little bit more about the minimum steps that you should take as a grown-up to not catch this virus. So the fact that Donald Trump just didn't even take it seriously for himself and he downplayed it for months saying it affects virtually nobody and now for you to say if that makes him more qualified because he had it? I mean, that's just laughable. Again, if he actually changed, if having the virus, experiencing firsthand how horrible it is, made him want to change and actually do better, you can make that case. You can make that argument, and I wouldn't be mocking you for it. But because you're saying he had it, and that automatically just is inherently a reason why he's better than Joe Biden, is just laughable. 
Donald Trump is not going to take this virus seriously and even getting the virus isn't enough to make him want to take it seriously. He's just not going to take it seriously because that's who he is. Even catching the virus, when you can see videos of him literally gasping for air, that doesn't mean he's going to start taking it seriously because he doesn't want anyone to think that he's that sick because he has an ego. So the fact that this person said this on national television is honestly bonkers to me and she should be ashamed of herself, not necessarily because she did something that is bad, theoretically speaking, but because she's so shameless that she's literally willing to attack Joe Biden because he didn't catch COVID-19. Like, what a stupid thing to say.